weekend long Vail Film Festival has been going on and I'm happy to have two premier film festival uh, artists with me. Uh, we've got Lise and Deborah, um, creators of Snyland. I did it. Just took four <laughs> you times. You did it. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Great. It's well, great to wake up in fresh air. <laughs> yeah, right? No, thank you for bringing your art to Vail. We, we don't see a ton of film-based art up here, so I always love the, the annual film festival. So far, good reception for your Absolutely, movie? it's been Fantastic. lovely. We've overheard a lot of people saying they were gonna come to our film. We've, we've learned the 17 different pronunciations of, <laughs> of yeah. the title. That's what you got. But as long as, as long as they show up, that's all that matters. Yeah, so I'm give excited. us give our viewers a little rundown of, of what the basic premise of the movie is, because it's really unique. It's kind of a love triangle, it's a noir. And it's a quiet noir, but it definitely has, a, I think, a message, a few messages. But one would certainly be about, um, because it centers around a journalist mm -hmm. who is disgraced and then goes and tries to rebuild his career on the back of a story that could destroy someone else. Um, that idea of what is privacy, what is you know, fair game. Um, so I think, think some of those questions. The idea that... Um who deserves a second chance? Who, if other people have your story because you've become a public figure, it seems like everyone wants to live in public, right? Mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter. A lot of people want to live in public, but a lot of people want to own their narrative. They want to own their own story, and they want the right to tell their story their way, or they don't want it told at all, yeah. maybe. Yeah, and so, where is that line when, mm -hmm. you, when yeah. you are in such a public space that somebody can start driving your narrative for you instead of Absolutely. you driving it yourself. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you filmed in Iceland and Berlin primarily for this. We filmed in Iceland for three weeks during the time of year when the sun is up 24 hours a day. Yeah. So we didn't see the dark for, well, we were there for three weeks yeah. ahead of time and I stayed a week later. So, you know, seven weeks, no night, not even like dusk, not even like dawn, but full on like noon to two all like the time. all the time? Yeah. Did you yeah. sleep at all over three weeks? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, we not prepared. till three in the morning, you know, yeah. you just keep working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we prepared. I mean, we brought um, blackout curtains mm -hmm. and we brought eye shades. Yeah. And it was a very small crew, six people. So we made sure that everybody had a kit with everything they needed because if you don't sleep, you can't work. Yeah. And we did the standard filming of 12 hours working, 12 hours break, 12 hours working, 12 hours break. So as the character who comes from some place where there has the normal daytime, nighttime light still, as he spends more and more time there and loses his bearings, then the actor who had been there more and more during that period of time was able to really react to the environment yeah. and give a great performance. We were so lucky. We had fantastic actors from Germany that live in the States that came with us. And then we cast two actors in Iceland who are well known in Iceland and were amazing and had, a, had so much to give. We didn't want to drop our idea of what Iceland is yeah. on Iceland. And we just had a great story idea. And then really we're able to shape it there, you know, really using the environment, the real village that we shot in. Um, always being on actual location is so helpful. Yeah. Um, there's even some locals in the movie who are not actors, but <laughs> ended up in the film and are terrific. So. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. super intriguing. Well, I really want to check this one out. Um, Please do. What time can people see uh, your film today? Uh, 1 p.m. at the Cine Bistro in Vail, and tomorrow afternoon, I believe, 4 p.m. as well. Okay. Please come, and um, it's S-N-A-E-L-A-N-D. Think of how Bjork would say it. Snyland. 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 It means practice. snow land. It's okay. an old mm. romantic. So Sny is snow yeah. in yeah. Atlantic. Mm. All right. Well, Lise, Deborah, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you so us. much. And thank making you. a movie about such a pertinent and intriguing topic. Like thank you. Definitely check it out, audience. 1.30, 1 p.m., sorry, at Cinebistro today.
check it out. And we've got a look at your local weather forecast coming up right after this.